Hello, my name is Carl Bruner, and it's my privilege to serve as superintendent of the Mount Vernon School District. The centerpiece of our commitment to our community and to our students is ensuring that 100% of our Bulldogs graduate from Mount Vernon High School with the knowledge and skills necessary to be successful in post-secondary education, careers, and life. To get there, we are focusing on four key strategies outlined by the Mount Vernon School Board. These strategies include early learning, powerful teaching and learning, family and community engagement, and individual determination and creativity. Today, several of our district leaders will share some of the important work we're doing in these areas. I think you'll find their updates interesting, and I'd like to thank you for joining us. Early learning is the first of the four strategies that we have in our district plan. And what we are starting to work on right now is a collaboration between the Mount Vernon School District kindergarten teachers and especially our two early learning fellows who are working with the ESD 189 in Anacortes. That's Michelle Keene and Sarah Dahl. They're kindergarten teachers and they're learning a lot about how to increase the capability of our students as they're coming into the classroom, learning more about the Walk Kids assessment that we give every year, three times a year, to see how our students are progressing in their competencies. But more importantly, we're looking at how we can include members of our community. And to do that, we're setting up a meeting soon with um, representatives from the YMCA and from Head Start. And since we have some of those facilities, those preschool facilities on some of our campuses, our elementary campuses, we're working to try to build a, a collaborative situation where the preschool teachers and their students can come over to the buildings and partner with one of our kindergarten teachers and be able to see what, what does kindergarten look like in the spring and then next year what does it look like in the fall so that we can have a better relationship, um, more collaboration, maybe some professional development for teachers especially in the area of math and English language arts, but socializing students to what it's like to be a kindergartner. I think that's one of the most important things that we're trying to accomplish by, the, by doing this work. Um, we're excited to be able to have that kind of partnership and look forward to doing more things in the future with preschool education in the Mount Vernon School District. For years, the teachers had not had a consistent writing curriculum that everyone was using in all the grade levels K through five. But a year ago, we did a big project for a pilot of two different writing curriculum and chose one called Writing Fundamentals for our teachers. The really exciting part of this is not only do the teachers now have a similar writing curriculum for everyone, but also this curriculum includes grammar instruction, which has been something that teachers have wanted to have for a long time. The students are taught through a series of mentor texts, and this means that they're given opportunity to hear what the writer has written so that they can emulate some of the techniques that they have. And in the writing process, they are learning how to write expository, which is uh, nonfiction. They're learning how to do persuasive writing, poetry, and personal narrative. This information has been fantastic for our students because they're starting to really think of themselves as writers. And on top of that, we've provided some wonderful professional development for our staff. They have had the opportunity to have training last summer twice in June and in August, and then we've had presenters come and work with them as consultants in the classroom, teaching sample lessons for the teachers at certain grade levels, and then they would have conversation afterwards to see what things that they could add to their curriculum. So in this way, we've done this in, in November, and now we're doing it again in February. So all the teachers in all the buildings will have had this specific job embedded professional development. It's been fantastic for our staff, but most importantly, listening to the students talk about their own writing 
and how excited they have been about their writing has really made it a game changer for all of our students. The teachers and the students are really enjoying using the Bridges and Number Corner curriculum because it's allowing students to use math in a way that is not just learning algorithms, but actually learning how to think about how math works and using manipulatives and number games to learn how to do this and to practice what they're learning. Um, it's a completely different way of thinking about math and the thinking that students are doing is demonstrated by the types of questions that teachers are learning to ask their students. To do this really well, we have been relying on not only a consultant from Math Learning Center, which is the company that produces Bridges and Number Corner, but also have been training teachers within the district to become what they call the best team or the Bridges educational support team for our staff. There are one or two teachers in each building who've received special training and every summer they train the new teachers to the district on how to use the Bridges math curriculum as well as teachers who are in their second year of teaching or have changed grade levels. In their buildings, these teachers who have been trained are also working with their professional learning communities to help increase the amount of, of competency of our staff to be able to teach this curriculum. Recently, we've had a really fantastic opportunity for our sixth grade teachers who are using a completely different curriculum at the middle school to learn about what the fifth grade teachers are teaching their students so that they better can make that transition between fifth grade and sixth grade. This has been a great opportunity for the staff to get to know each other and be able to understand what Bridges is about. In addition to that, we had a consultant from Bridges come. Her name is Cindy Neese, and she's been working with us in a variety of ways. But this, um, just recently, she's met with all of our building principals in a full day professional development, half of the principals in the morning, half in the afternoon. And they went to visit a fifth grade and a first grade teacher teaching Bridges and Number Corner. They're two pieces of this, of this program. So the principals were able to see what they should be seeing in the classroom and be able to talk to Cindy about teaching techniques so that they can be better instructional leaders in their classrooms. We're planning also to do something similar to what we did with the writing curriculum, bringing in consultants to teach in the classroom and giving grade level groups of teachers the opportunity to learn more about how to use this curriculum. I think in the long run, this is going to create an opportunity for our students to do much better in math than they have in the past. And it's exciting to hear the teachers as the students are going through each grade level, knowing that the next year when they get the students that they've learned something that they didn't know before. And it's like, wow, they know how to do this. And it's very exciting for all of us to see this curriculum improve our math capabilities of our students and their staff. Each of our schools has a team that's focused on improving attendance at their site and they are definitely working within the culture of their buildings to really develop those relationships with their families and their students and to work together towards the goal of students being at school regularly. Um, some of our elementary schools have a competition going with one another and they are all striving to be at school more than the other one and are very excited all of the students are engaged there's nothing quite like a competition to get people on their toes our elementary schools are also doing a great job with incentivizing attendance through celebrations and recognition and the occasional prize i think that there are some t-shirts with mascots and whatnot that students are very excited to get in recognition of being at school regularly and the hard work that they do while they're there. The same sort of work is being done at the secondary level with an increased focus on really trying to work with students and identify what some of the barriers are um, to being present at school. One of the pieces that we have in place this year that is new to the school district uh, being responsible for it is our community truancy board and we have been truly fortunate to have a number of community partners who have donated their time to that effort students and their families come and we sit as a group and work to identify what supports could be put in place or what changes could be made to really improve the students' attendance, and not only their attendance, but their comfort and success once they are at school.
One of the areas that we are focusing on with all of our students is perseverance and knowing that even though we might have stopped something or we might have not been successful, that it is okay to get back up and, and try again and, and continue with the work that you're doing. So this January, we had our first re-engagement event where we reached out to high school students who have left high school and that we are hoping to re-engage and bring back into the educational process. We were in touch with them and their families through phone calls and direct mailing, and we were very excited that we had some of our students return, and we had worked with a number of community partners to put together some different options, and we were able to identify opportunities that would be a good fit for those students. There is a program at Skagit Valley College called Open Doors that is a nice program for either students who are struggling in the traditional high school environment or students who have left school and that we're working to re-engage them in their education. We also had Job Corps and WorkSource and a number of other community partners present who had resources that, that could be presented to our students and it was really very exciting and heartwarming to see students come in and find a renewed sense of hope and purpose for pursuing their education and to hear them share the things that they want to do in the future. Since the passage of the bond in 2016, there's a lot of progress to report. Last month, the school board named our new school which is located off of East Division, the Harriet Rowley Elementary School. Harriet Rowley was a pioneer nurse in our community and is credited with opening the first hospital in Mount Vernon way back in 1920. Because of her contributions to our medical community, her pioneer spirit and her tremendous grit, the school board was inspired to name our new school after Miss Rowley. I am pleased to report that Rowley Elementary School is on time and on budget. It is scheduled to open in the fall of 2018, just a few months away. While the construction has happened off of East Division Street, it's been hard for our community to see this new building be built. However, there is a webcam that provides progress and time elapsed photos of the construction project. So I encourage you to check it out. The Rowley Project has brought $22 million into our local economy, and a number of subcontractors have worked on the site. When the school first opens in the fall of 2018, it will be occupied by the Madison students and their program, while their building is demolished and rebuilt at the Madison School site. After that year, the district will close Lincoln School as an elementary school, and attendance areas will be restructured to better balance enrollments across all of our elementary schools. Currently, a committee that consists of both parents and staff are working on developing those new attendance areas. A recommendation from the committee will go to the board in the fall of 2018, and the new attendance areas will go into effect for the 2019-2020 school year. Speaking of Madison School, as soon as this school year is over, the building will be demolished and the new Madison will be built on the same location. This project will be easy for the community to see as the building sits right there on Fur Street. And as you travel up and down Fur, you'll be able to watch the construction unfold. This will all happen over the course of the 2018-2019 school year so that the Madison students and program can move back into their new building to start the 2019 school year. Another important part of the overall construction project will occur on the campus of Mount Vernon High School. Both new classroom space as well as improvements to existing buildings will be part of this work. Improvements to the Fine Arts Building, a new shop for CTE programs, as well as improvements to one of the treasures on the campus, the old main building, are all part of this project. Currently, Architects are being selected for the high school work, and the sequencing and phasing of the projects are being finalized. All of these bond-funded projects provide more and better space for our students. They all set the tone for positive learning environments, and they feature elements of safety and security. 
They're all welcoming environments for our students, staff, and for our community. This is a very exciting time in the Mount Vernon community with all of these bond funded projects both underway and upcoming. We are so thankful to our community for their support because we know these projects will provide wonderful learning environments for our students in the very near future and for years and years to come. While we believe we're off to a great start, we clearly have lots of work to do to ensure that 100% of our students graduate post-secondary education, career, and life ready. We plan to provide periodic updates throughout the school year to keep you informed of our efforts. Thank you for watching.